वेलकम टू होम कैंपस डॉट कॉम डॉट एस जी लेट सॉल्व दिस वर्ड प्रॉब्लम इट इज लास्ट इयर बेन वॉज फोर फीट टॉल वाइल जेनी वॉज थ्री फीट टॉल बोथ चिल्ड्रेन हैव ग्रोन अप बाई वन फुट सिंस लास्ट ईयर फाइन द रेशियो ऑफ बेन प्रेजेंट हाइट टू जेनीज प्रेजेंट हाइट ओके एक्चुअली क्वाइट अ सिंपल प्रॉब्लम लेट स्टार्ट विद द मॉडल सो बेन वॉज फोर फीट टॉल लास्ट ईयर सो लेट्स मेक अ मॉडल हेयर फॉर बेन्स हाइट say this is the model here for ben's height last year okay so last year he was 4 feet tall so this would be 4 feet this is 4 feet okay and this is ben let's fill in some color say blue okay and last year jenny was 3 feet tall so if this is 4 feet tall 3 feet would be somewhere until here smaller than 4 feet so this is 3 feet and this is jenny's height last year okay this is 3 feet let's pour some color into this say pink okay now both children have grown up by 1 foot since last year okay so ben was 4 feet tall last year then he grew up by one more foot this year so he is now One foot taller since last year. So let's suppose that this is one foot over here. Then this yellow one over here, plus the blue one together is five feet, right? So this guy is equal to five feet, which means Ben's present height is five feet, four feet from last year, plus one foot that he has grown up since last year. Okay, so his current height is five feet. All right. Now Jenny also grew up by. one extra foot since last year so jenny is also one foot taller now since last year so this is one foot and her present height is 3 feet plus one foot which would be 4 feet so ben is 5 feet tall and jenny is 4 feet tall so then what is the ratio of ben's present height to jenny's present height well it's quite simply 5 to 4 because 5 feet is ben's height and 4 feet is jenny's height so the ratio of ben's present height to jenny's present height is 5 to 4 as simple as that and that's the answer to your question 5 to 4 is the ratio of ben's present height to jenny's present height quite a simple problem wasn't it well since we finished this problem so soon how about we try and understand this problem okay so what does this mean what does 5 to 4 mean well actually if we were to put this on a model okay another model just drawn a little differently actually the same model as this but drawn a little bit differently okay so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to put ben's and jenny's height again okay ben's and jenny's heights again on models and this time i'm going to use this ratio 5 to 4 okay so what this means is that if ben's height is taken as 5 units okay which i'm going to put here in this model so if ben's height is taken as 5 units then what we can tell about jenny's height is jenny's height would be equal to 4 units so if i take this here this model and i cut it up into 5 units okay 5 equal units okay here okay so these are 5 units which are Ben's height. Okay, five units, which are Ben's height. Let's fill in some color. Say this blue. Okay, so if this blue is Ben's height, this five blocks, five units is Ben's height. Then what I can say from here is that Jenny's height would be equal to four of these blocks. So this is what Jenny's height would be. This would be Jenny's height because this is what this ratio tells me. If Ben's height is five units, then Jenny's height would be four units. So this is Jenny's height, four units. Now we learned in one of our previous lessons that ratios they don't have any units. So these five blocks, these five units can be in any unit. Okay, you can call it five feet, or you can call it in centimeters. Okay, let's suppose that this is not five feet. Let's say that uh, the height that was given to you is in centimeters. Okay, so let me erase this. Let's say that this was in centimeters. Let's suppose that you know five feet is roughly equal to one hundred and fifty centimeters. So let's say this is one hundred and fifty centimeters. Then what you can tell about Jenny's height from here is that since we know that Jenny's height is equal to four of Ben's blocks, okay, then this would be four of these blocks, okay. So if Ben's height, which is five units, which is equal to one hundred and fifty centimeters, then Jenny's height would be well, what? Well, let's see. So if five units of Ben's height are equal to one hundred and fifty centimeters, 
okay then one unit okay one of these blue units would be 150 centimeters divided by five and that would be 30 centimeters okay so each of these guys okay this one small little block is 30 centimeters so then what is jenny's height well jenny's height would be since it's four units jenny's height would be 30 centimeters times four and that would be 120 centimeters so this all together, this, all these four blocks together would be 120 centimeters. That's what Jenny's height would be. So you see the beautiful thing about ratio is that it doesn't have a unit. All it tells you is one guy's height in relation to other guy's height. So if one of the guy's heights is taken as five units, then the other guy's height is equal to four units. Now, as we saw just now, this five can be in any unit. It can be in feet, it can be in centimeter, any measurement that you like. I mean, you know, it all it says is that if Ben's height is five, then Jenny's height would be four. That's the relation between the heights of these two guys. Okay, this guy Ben and this girl Jenny. So that's the beautiful thing about ratios. And by the way, you can also use the concept of equivalent ratios that we learned in a previous lesson. So if I clear this space over here let me show this to you so we know that ben's height to jenny's height is in the ratio five to four now since ben is 150 centimeters tall okay what we can tell about jenny's height is that this would be what well let's see so from five to 150 if you go from five to 150 you have to multiply this guy this five over here by 30 so all you do is you multiply this guy also by 30 and what you will get for this missing term is you would get 120 now you can call this 150 centimeters so if this guy is 150 centimeters then this guy would be 120 centimeters so if Ben's height is 150 centimeters, okay, then Jenny's height would be 120 centimeters. Now, like I said before, it could be any measuring unit. Now, let's suppose that Ben's height is equal to six feet. Then what can you tell about Jenny's height? Well, we know that Ben's height and Jenny's height are in the ratio five to four, right? This is the ratio that we have. Ben's height to Jenny's height is five to four. Now, if Ben stands at six feet tall, then what we can tell about Jenny's height is that Jenny's height would be, well, what? Let's see. Well, let's first erase this. Okay, so this is gone. Now, how do you go from five to six? What do you multiply five by to get six? Well, let's see. To get 5 from 6, you must multiply it by 1.2. Actually, you can use a calculator if you like. So you have 6, and if you divide it by 5, what you get is you get 1.2. So if you multiply 5 by 1.2, you get 6, right? In the same way, you must also multiply the other term of the ratio by 1.2, right? To get the new ratio, the new term, the missing term here in this ratio. All right, so 4 times 1.2, what's that? Well, 4 times 1.2 is 4.8. You can do the calculation here if you like. So you have 1.2 and you multiply it by 4. And that's 4.8, right? So this is 4.8. So the missing term here is 4.8. So if it's given to you that Ben's height is 6 feet and it's given to you that the ratio of Ben's height to Jenny's height is 5 to 4, then you can find out Jenny's height from here. So you can calculate Jenny's height from this ratio and Ben's height and you can tell that if Ben is 6 feet tall, then Jenny will be 4.8 feet tall. So you see that that's the purpose of ratios. It tells you the height of one guy in relation to the other guy. Well, that's that about this word problem. I hope you understood it and hope you'll also go and solve some other word problems now. As usual at www.homecampus.com.sg Don't forget to practice because practice makes you perfect. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.